In this video, I will show you how to calculate the balance factors of every node in a binary search tree, and which is required for making an AVL tree. So we will start calculating the balance factor from the leaf nodes. But for calculating the balance factor, we need to find the heights of every node in the given binary search tree. So we will calculate the heights of every node also from the leaf nodes. So let's start. So the node 65 has a height 0. Sorry. Okay. The node 65 has an height 0. And node 85 also has an height 0. 25 has height 0. 125 0. 175 0. And the height of the node 75 is 1 because that is one above the leaf nodes and the height of the node 50 is 2 because we have to add 1 to the uh, maximum of a left or a right subtree's height okay now the height of node 125 is 1 because the maximum of the height of 125 and 175 is 0 then you add 1 then the height of the node 100 is you take 2 you take 1 the maximum value is 2 then you add 1 so that is the height of the node 100 so in this case it is 3 okay now we want to calculate the balance factors so for calculating the balance factors you need to find the heights of left and right subtrees and you take the difference okay so the bottom leaf nodes we do not have the left or right subtrees so all of them has a balance factor is 0. Now if you consider the balance factor of the node 75 here, the balance factor of node 75 is balance factor of node 75 is 0 minus 0 because the height of left subtree is 0, the height of right subtree is 0. So this will be 0. Now the balance factor of the node 50. The balance factor of node 50 will be the height of node 25 is 0, the height of Sorry, the, the, sorry, the height of node 25 is 0, the height of node 75 is 1, then you take the difference. So the height of the node 50 is uh, minus 1, 0 minus 1, minus 1. And then the height of the node 150 is also 0, then the height of node 100. And if you take the height of the node 100, the left subtree has a height 2, the right subtree has height 1. So you take the difference 2 minus 1, that is 1. Okay, now uh, if you look at the values of balance factors, uh, you can see that one uh, thing that we discussed in the definition. That is, if you take the balance factor as zero, then there lies the right subtree and the left subtree will be having the same weight. Or in this, in this case, the height of the left subtree and right subtree will be equal. Okay, so you look at this node 75, the right subtree has one node and the left subtree also has one node. So it is equal in both left and right side. Now if you look at the uh, node 50, we have a balance factor as minus one, which means that it is heavier to the right side. Because in the right subtree, we have this much nodes. In the right, left subtree, we have only one node. So it is heavy towards the uh, right side. So you can get an in the, that information from the value of the balance factor. Then if you look at this value 0, it indicates that the height of left and as well as the right subtree is equal. So this is a balanced node. And if you look at this one, then you can find that the left subtree of node 100 is much more heavier than or height is greater than the uh, height of the right subtree. So the for an AVL tree, these values, that is this 1, this minus 1, 0, 0, 0, and these values should be either minus 1 or 0 or 1, and it should not be greater than these values or less than these values. So if that is the case, then that tree will not be an AVL tree anymore. Okay. Now we will see how to make an AVL tree in the next videos.